Hey everyone, welcome back. Now, if you recall, last episode we made the daring journey to go to the nether and retrieve some glowstone. So, now we now have a slightly upgraded area and our portal is safely secured in the underground portion of the oasis, which is stored under there for those of you who could not make it through the episode last time. So what we also did was go and begin clearing out this area for development. Now, this area up here is going to be a forge for tools and other objects that might be nice to do. So, inadvertently, it was also decided that the caps of these stairs will be closed down. So, that's what we're going to do. We're going to cap it off with closed down. Oh, that, this gives me some serious, um... Minecraft 1.0.0 nostalgia, looking at this right here. So, with the glowstone, I don't know why, but it, it just does. Back when, oh, I remember the first time I connected to a server. Oh man, some serious heckin' nostalgia is going on right, right now. So, we're going to need to go and start cutting down some more spruce trees here in order to keep our supply up to date. So we're gonna go and we're just gonna cut down all these trees here. And I wanna try something that I saw in um, one of the, uh, for building the forge, I wanna do something. I'm gonna have to go back to the nether and get some nether rack, I think, probably. Um, we're gonna have to come back and get some of those uh, saplings, so that way we can start planting more trees. All right. Oh, that's cool. I like that. I really like that. So, it looks like the saplings have begun to decay for collection purposes. So, let's keep an eye on that. And, oh, there's another one down there. Let's just go and, like, is this a thing? I don't know why, but I remember seeing this as a thing. We'll find out, though. I know that's a thing with, like, jungle trees and dark oak, but I don't know if it's a thing with, like, other forms of tree. We're about to find out, I guess. Alright, let's go. And... Get some slabs, because... We can actually save a lot of resources by using slabs instead of solid oak. And while resources generally are not a problem, I do want to conserve resources in the long run to make sure that things go, go smoothly. So, um, I think the general rule is that we chose by four. So every fifth block. All right. So that's fine for now because it's going to need future extension. But let's get some of our glowstone and slap some of that down. Here we go. We also need our bucket of water so we can uh, continue the path style. It's an odd style, but I mean, 
I definitely will never do something like this again. But if you uh, don't remember why this styling was done, I got really excited learning about the new water dynamics. Okay. What is going on? Oh, I'm putting it underneath these, aren't I? <laughs> there we go. All right. Now we have this pathway cleared and we're just gonna go and cut along the side of here because it's a little bit invasive. And then to apply some natural filing, we're just gonna cut here and then cut there, followed by cutting right there and here. That looks a bit more natural now. So the forge I think is actually going to be something a little bit more of a larger project. Um, we're going to have the entryway start, right? Hmm. We're actually going to have it branch out, right? Hmm. I don't know how I'm going to do this. So if I have it here, then there's a lot of the interior over here that I can work with with the large. Yeah, I'm going to do it that way. All right. So the path is going to extend forward a couple blocks and the doorway will be right here. And we're going to have one marker here. Actually, that might be too close. We'll have a marker here. And then we'll have a marker. Let's go back a little bit, actually. And we're going to do a marker all the way over here. Then we're going to go this way. We're going to stop at the glowstone a little bit after it and put a marker down. We're going to go all the way down here and place a marker, not there, but there. And then this area here will be used as a forging ground. So we're going to trim along the side here. And then we're going <clears> to <throat> start laying the ground. So I have kind of an idea in mind already for what this can look like. In fact, actually now we have this here, we're gonna extend this out and complete it. Like so. So we might also have a pathway going off right here that goes into this weird little um, kind of forging ground area that I have an idea for, for, for after playing Skyrim. So let's real fast just kind of like take a glimpse back here at everything that's kind of been done. We've got, so in season two, we've gone to the nether, we've built that. We built that and we're starting this and it is currently episode 36. So it's time to get to work on the final portion of our season two goals. So let's begin clearing out the area for where the ground is going to be going. The foundation is the most important part Man, my phone just went off. Oh boy.
Thank you, Tingles, for reminding me that a video is trending in the United States and asking me if I would like to check it out. I really appreciate that. That is exactly what I wanted right now. Okay, my phone is now on Do Not Disturb, and I cannot believe that I totally missed out on that. I'm doing that beforehand. I'm usually pretty good about that. In other word, apparently, um, according to my uh, news feed, it is very, very, very... No, don't open that. What are you doing? It is very important that I know that Chevy is selling the four original Bumblebee Camaros. So, in case you, for some reason, wanted to buy a Bumblebee Chevy Camaro, they are being sold. So, yeah. Um, that is, that was apparently one of the highlights of my news feed, um, next to, uh, Tingles. So, uh, Oh, I don't know why I'm clearing that out. That needs to stay there. We're going to put... Actually, well, that's going to be part of probably some other kind of foundational thing. But we'll leave it there for now and I'll fill it in. This area out leaving a one wide divider in between the two uh, sections. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, forty two, ninety eight, sixty one, ninety seven, fifty eight, forty one, thirty two, twenty one, fifty eight, ninety two. I'm just repeating the same numbers for some reason. Seventy six, seventy two. 12 seconds so because I have been having relentless crashing recently with um, my copy of DaVinci Resolve so uh, and it's the free version because I don't want to pay lots of money for video editing software when I'm not doing anything major although what I what I can say though is that like the uh, the editing tools that are embedded within uh, Resolve for being freeware is phenomenal it is great for being free like you know editing software but because it's free it crashes a lot and it's not super stable but my gosh does it get the job done um davinci studio i'll, I'll take the check in the mail for uh, sponsoring your product oh if only so let's see i think in every single area the floor is always Pen, except for that one. A spruce wood build. So uh, I think that's what we're gonna do. we're gonna we're gonna keep up the uh, the kind of the spruce feel for this area, and until season three, we're gonna change up our construction tactics and use different materials. 
and probably actually move to a different build zone. So, let me just say this is the most fun I've had in Minecraft in probably quite a while. Because usually it feels more of, you know, you do something for a little bit and then it gets really boring. So then you just stop and you just stop playing Minecraft in general. But um, for some reason, like actually like working towards goals and whatnot and having little mini projects to keep things occupied, as well as having a bunch of amazing people support every single time you play the game, it, uh, it really helps out in making it um, worthwhile. So I uh, wanted to thank everyone for, you know, j just for being awesome, watching my channel, giving me a chance, clicking on me. Um, for some reason, YouTube's actually recommending my stuff in the search results now for ASMR Minecraft. So that's cool. I think I've gotten nearly um, 50 views just today from the search results um, for like one video. So, maybe two, okay, for the past 48 hours, I've gotten 50 views from the search results. That's not including playlists and other things as well. So, that's kind of a big deal, because that means that I'm starting to get recommended. So, now what it comes down to is people just scrolling down when they make a search and actually looking at the other results, then clicking on the videos released by Ephemeral Rift and relaxing ASMR, as well as JoJo. People can, uh, get past those search results and uh, scroll down a little bit. There I am with another episode 32 or 29. So those ones in particular have really good search results for some reason. I don't know why. Anyways, enough about analytics. Um, I really like numbers. So kind of like watching the numbers and seeing, you know, how they change especially when doing certain things, really, uh, I find that really fun, just because I'm a weird like that. But, anyways, an update on the project. Um, it's not going as fast as I was hoping it would, because I, I keep getting distracted and not able to actually work on it. But what I can say, though, is that I am getting fairly close, and with the release of the project, there should also be all it's coming down to now is not only getting the last couple stages done and finished, but putting it all together into one big old bow and then going and, uh, you know, making a little demonstration video for you guys of what the project's been, what I've been working on, and you know, why it's going to work for ASMR. So, stay tuned. I'm hoping that it shows up mid-January. Just from general projections from what I'm seeing from progress. So, I'm really crossing my fingers for mid-January. But it is taking a lot of work. But, hopefully you guys will enjoy the final result of what I am producing. So, because after all, it would really suck if it turns out what I've been working on has been all for nothing. So, if you're curious as to what it is and if you would like it, it involves Minecraft Redstone and a large project I have been working on with it. It's not your simple piston door and it's not some easy to do thing. It'll be, it'll be interesting to see the general consensus on it once it is released. So. Um, also, um, as a secondary note, um, Stardew Valley will officially start up. And the next upload should be Wednesday. If I am doing my um, forward thinking properly. 
So, and then it'll be followed by my worst performing series, Skyrim. And then Friday I might kind of do something for fun. So, I don't know. I might actually start generating a consistent schedule rather than just uploading videos in an order. So, I would expect a schedule to form up after I um, release the uh, project that I've been working on. So... which I'm pretty excited about. Um, if you follow me on Twitter, I've only posted one sneak peek of it, just mostly because um, the stuff that I've been working on are the uh, little tippets, and I haven't really assembled anything um, that I think is worth looking at. Actually, what we're going to do is instead of using all this material, we're going to cut it down quite a bit here. So... I am really excited to show you guys what I've been working on, and I hope that you guys love it, because it is, in my opinion, it's, like, super cool, but, um, only a, I think only, like, I don't, I don't think anyone actually knows what I'm working on, so... You think you know what it is, feel free to, uh shoot me a PM on Twitter and ask me about it, but I will not confirm or deny anything. Ugh. I'm mostly just rambling right now and trying to keep my mind going as I work on this. Because... There is sort of a lot that has to be done and taken account for with this building in particular. So I think that this one is probably going to be a flat roof, maybe, to follow the main house, because this is going to be a little bit more um, put together compared to the other. So the way it's kind of going is, is that... um. I don't know. I don't really know. I'm just kind of building things at this point in time, but this is probably going to be in between the woodcutter and the actual house. So, just this way, it's kind of like a happy in between. If anything, it might actually have more detail than the house in the, in the long run. Now that I'm starting to get a little bit more accustomed to actually building again. So, you know, the time being, I thought this would be kind of cool, but I actually, like, really hate it. I think it needs a banister. So, let's go do that real fast. Actually, I have an idea. Let's try out this. I, I, I don't know. I mean, uh, the fact that it doesn't connect smoothly right there really messes with me. Can I put, if I move this here, is that still, no, it's not walkable. Darn. If only. But I don't know. That kind of annoys me that it doesn't properly connect. So. I might need just to like quickly trim that here and then make that actually work. Maybe. Kind of getting a little off topic, but um, that wouldn't actually take long. I don't have the materials to do it right off the top, though. So let's go down here and get some smooth stuff. Then let's go and chop down a spruce tree real fast. That's a really cool sun sunrise. 
Let's just go and cut down this boy. Oh no, that's not going to work because they're not there. Oh shoot. That's going to be a problem. The symmetry will be off if I do that. What would happen if I did it to this layer? It would actually clean things up a little bit, I think. No, because of the way the pillars are set too. Darn it. I can't do that. I can just do, I don't know. Darn, that was a waste of materials. Oh well, what I wanted to do is see if I could bone meal the big spruce tree and see if that's actually a format pattern that I can use or if I'm like thinking of the wrong kind of tree or something. Yes, it seems I am thinking of the wrong kind of tree because I just wasted 21 bone meal into that. But I'm just going to leave it there and cross my fingers. So. Is there a different kind of tree that I don't know about? Um, hmm. I know there's six wood. It's a missing, um, maybe seven technically, because there's jungle and Taiga. No, there's six. I still need jungle and Taiga wood if I want to complete the entire stack. Is there another wood that I don't know about that was like recently added or something? I don't know. Anyways, let's go cut down some trees and. <clears throat> ah, my throat is incredibly dry. Time to take a sip of Coca-Cola Vanilla. <clears throat> that always helps the throat because it's like... Talking this quiet for so long, no matter how much water I drink beforehand, dries my throat up incredibly fast. And I found that drinking a very syrupy and viscous substance usually clears up that dry sensation in my mouth for quite some time. So... And the fizzy release of the drink, followed by the turning of the cap, um, I guess is also technically a trigger. So, go me. This is going to annoy me if I don't fix it. <sighs> Alright, we're going to move this out. No, because that wouldn't work. Because it actually just makes it worse. Shoot, gosh darn it. So what we're going to do instead is move our big boy logs over, um, tear up the stone slabs as well as the stone neighbors it has, lay down some more wood, and that will even out the build. There we go. Okay. So now all these are different sizes. That's stupid, but whatever. All right, <clears throat> there we go. So now we have our floor done and we have the start of this. And let's see. 
I don't know what kind of walls I'm going to do for this because the walls are the second most important part of any build. I might actually go for a full stone because it's, you know, the blacksmith and it needs to have a structural So we're going to put cobblestone down there. Perhaps we might actually change that with something else. Maybe even something different, but we'll uh, figure it out. Might actually end up doing diorite or something like that. So. Anyways, um, I'm actually going to call this the episode a little bit early, but real fast. Let's get one final fantastic screenshot in order to, uh, let's see, we've already gotten one from over here, although if we do it from right here, and then build a pillar up, we'll do, let's go a lot higher. That's actually kind of cool. Ah, uh, the sunset, of course. Huh. <laughs> that sun is just taking its sweet time. You know what, real fast, we're gonna hop on down here and um, let's see. I want the shadows to be just a little bit further overcast before we actually go. And like I want there to be a little bit of a lens flare. So, actually what we're gonna do is we're gonna go down we got to make this a little snappy here then we're going to move over here there we go this way when the sun comes into frame we'll get some of that nice glare going so just give it a Actually, let's go and really crank things up. So the frame rate's gonna drop a lot, a little bit here. But I'm hoping we can get a generated background that extends pretty far. But, and a lot of this is probably gonna cut out in post, so I don't really worry about any of this. <sighs> Shadows slowly creeping across the site. That's pretty cool. All right. That's where we're going to call it good for our screenshots. So. Thank you for tuning in for that last little five minutes as I hunt for the perfect screenshot. Now let's not choke the entire machine out and put it back at 11 render distance. So it can be running as smooth as butter. Anyways, um, thank you all for checking out this video. And if you've made it this far, and if you are not subscribed, I would highly recommend doing that because, I mean, I only have like 120 right now, so, you know. Who knows, maybe, you'll, maybe you can be in that legendary under 200 club, where once I become one of those super big uh, 17 billion subscriber YouTubers, then uh, 
you could be all like, yo, I was subscribed to this guy and they only have like less than 200. So like, you know, weird flex, but okay. Anyways, thank you all for watching and dealing with my shenanigans, sarcasm, and random rambles and ranting. I hope you all enjoyed this video and have a fantastic